Hello everybody and welcome back to the Eden Run. Today we are jumping in to check out another item. We are checking out the obituary item. This is an item from the Deliverance mod that's going to give us a huge damage bonus after killing an enemy which quickly decreases and gives us a small bonus to our damage for each monster I kill. Pretty interesting. We've also started as Eden with the Larynx. Pretty good. And also the Trinket Crutch which means tears with chance base effects gain herming and size increase which I think could be pretty interesting and we start off here with a good old bot um i'm gonna risk the entire run <laughs> the entire run for this uh how do i how do i do this okay I, i'm really not very good at going down but there you go we did it but yeah larynx a pretty interesting one i can never remember can this uh can larynx destroy um secret room walls or not but you can see there that we get a huge huge temporary damage boost um for for a little bit of time after, uh, oh, I don't like the positioning of this enemy here. Uh, for a little bit of time after killing an enemy, all shop prices are reduced by one. Honestly, I think I'm going to be sticking with a trinket I've got in my pocket right here. Thank you. Um, oh my goodness, that was kind of close. Oh, it was more than kind of close. I have almost perished. I have almost perished. And if I'm not careful, I shall still perish. Luckily, Botfly, pretty good. And there you go. We get a little bit of safety there. But enemy rooms like this are going to be good. Because I think the damage bonus isn't based on the health of the enemy. Um, so, small enemies like that we can kill early on to get a big damage bonus. And yeah, as you can see, 4.94 is our base damage. After a killing enemy, it goes up by 0. It's, it's kind of like money equals power. Um, so we're going to be able to stack up the damage considering we're starting with this early. It seems like a a pretty goddamn interesting item to uh, to get going off the bat here. I like it. I like it. We'll go and check out what our other room is over here. And we'll probably just absolutely meme on the boss with um, Larynx here. I don't know if the damage bonus we get will be absolutely permanent. Or if that's going to go away going to the next floor. I'm not entirely sure on that. Ooh. Unfortunately, not what I was hoping for there, but thank you. I knew that was going to happen. Copper bombs are terrible. They never work on my side. Um, I'll bomb you. Why not? Oh, that gives me a damage bonus as well. I always forget that they can class as enemies for some weird, strange reason. They don't attack, but they are technically an enemy. For some reason, Isaac has something against those lowly shopkeepers. He finds them horrific. Um, <laughs> oh, well. Right. Uh, check out my shop real quick. Ooh, cheeky little sack head. But I'm just going to buy the soul heart for now. And you know what? I'll buy a key as well. I'll buy a key as well. Um, would have liked to have gone to my cash room, but I don't think that's all too viable for us now, is it? But let's keep on running along and see what we can do here. Let's keep on running along. And larynx the hell out of this boss. <laughs> Get wrecked. Um, so we're hoping... I'll take this. It's a gamble. It's a gamble. We gained... I think we gained damage. We did lose fire rate there. Ooh, our fire rate is abysmal. Like, absolutely abysmal right now. That is that is really, really, really bad. Uh, so we're going to have... We've got Curse of Carrion, which I'm not actually sure what the Curse of Carrion does, to be honest. We are going to have some trouble with uh, with our fire rate here. And we did also just lose a bunch of damage from getting hit. Oh, so maybe the damage bonus that we gain permanently goes away on hit. Because that's our first time getting... Not our first time getting hit, but that's like... That's I'm getting hit in a bit. Okay, we'll crack that open. That's very nice because that's going to alleviate quite a lot of our fire rate concerns. It's still not good fire rate, but it's a hell of a lot better than it just was. So rather nice. Uh, Empress here I'll use for the boss. To be fair, I say boss. Larynx is going to be our boss killer here, pretty much through and through, so I'm not particularly... <laughs> I'll be honest, that's kind of BS. That enemy fell directly on my head. I don't know where that enemy was going to pop up, but I didn't expect it to be from underneath me. Oh, dude. That was like three lots of damage up in one go there. Okay, I've just got to be very, very quick on the turnaround to getting the next enemy. I said, it can't be a health down. Ooh, that was herming because of the uh, the crutch trinket there. Really got to get some tier effects into the mix. Oh, cancer. That saves us so much. <laughs> it also means sack rooms are 
way more viable for us as well, which is always a good bit of a bit of bonus for us. As for a question of the day today, what's your favourite damage up in Isaac? Of all the items that give you damage ups, it can also be a modded one. What's your favourite damage up? Boom. <clears throat> Item's amazing. And we've got to fire it up as well. Good stuff. And we're going to go down. I'd, I'd never really figured out what Curse of Carrion did there, so... Not entirely sure on that. We also got Curse of Envy here. I'm not sure what the Curse of Envy does. I'm pretty sure I disabled the, um... The Curse is added by the Eclipse mod, but they seem to have... Mysteriously re-enabled themselves. Um, but, eh. I'll keep them on for now. There's basically, there's a few... There's a few in there that are, like, pretty iffy, and there's also a few duplicates of curses that I've already got from the curse collection, uh, so I disabled them, but they're, they're apparently back. Well, this guy's a deliverance enemy by the looks of it. Okay, so he's kind of like a half and half between a roundworm and one of those ones we just killed. Kind of like a mix between the two. Don't mind if I do. We still got this Empress card. Don't really know where I'm going to use that. Hello, good sir. Um, good bomb up here. There you go. I find that secret rooms, like, the way that they're laid out... Oh, that was a bad hit. The way that they're laid out is often, like, super obvious. Uh, that just felt secret roomy to me. Another deliverance enemy there. Not too hard to deal with. There seems to be a good few deliverance-based enemies on this floor. Oh, dude. I'm like an obituary right now. I just hope we can get like a mantle or something to make sure we don't get hit as often. Because if we can get something like that, then obituary goes crazy because we're just not going to lose the permanent damage bonus. For a while at least. We'll be able to keep it for quite a good amount of time, which I am very down for. I mean, we're able to build it back up reasonably quickly anyways. But it'd be nice to keep it as a more permanent thing. Piggy bank, piggy bank, you're not the best. You're not the best. I'll pretend that I appreciate you. Anyways. I'll pretend you're good. Oh man, rooms like this with obituary are just... They absolutely slap. Because there's tons of small enemies with weak HP pools that you can just absolutely destroy. And we're liking that. Unfortunately, we don't have any way of re-rolling that right now, which is a bit of a shame. Um, and we don't have anything else on this floor to explore. I could, I could like, go back through some of those rooms I haven't seen. But I do actually have a mod on now that will notify me if there's a planetarium on the floor. So I don't need to explore the whole floor just in case that 1% chance procced. Good, good, good. Is this some more deliverance enemies? I don't know what, what mod this is from, these these enemies here. Must be Fiend Folio, but I don't recognise them. Piggy Bank, meh, as much as I dissed it, gave me some extra pennies there and it, and it will continue to do so. So it's it's at least a bit of value for getting hit, which is nicer than getting nothing. Oh, my bot fly is, uh, is doing me the greatest of solids right now. I knew I was going to get hit there. I knew that was coming. Oh, crazy how I fire it. It was like 1.3 and now it's 3.2. That that uh, that changed pretty drastically pretty quickly. I'm just using a copper bomb there because I don't like them. Right. But one of those enemies, like, when it deformed there was invisible. Which kind of spooks me. Oh, I need to stop getting hit. See, that looks secret roomy to me. And it is. Pretty terrible secret room, though, mind you. Unfortunately, some of the Fiend Folio ones out there are uh, not the best. I managed to push that guy into a fire as well. But yes, how has how has your guys' day been? I've actually had a pretty good day today. Um, I, I went on a, a, a very big exercise kick. I went and did like five kilometers at the gym on the treadmill and then straight after I went and ran 5k outdoors because I felt like doing more and it was raining a little bit and honestly a run in the rain is like pretty satisfying so I was like I'm just gonna go for it and it was it was very enjoyable and then also I had one of my weekly meetings at work um and those of you that don't know I'm like the operations manager at my work which means I've got to keep track of a lot of things and like make sure people are up to date on what's going on and I I found a I found an application ooh I'll keep that in turf for now. Uh, I found an application. Ooh, I like lamps are carving. Um, that 
allows me to basically take notes with AI and it's free. And oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> it's unbelievably good. I can't remember the name of it now. It's called like Fathom, I believe it's called. It's like way better than I expected. Ooh, greed butt would be very nice here as well. Ah, oh, how dare you let me down. I'll come back to you once I've got the money. I'm really hoping for a sack room, to be honest, especially um, with this Queen of Hearts. I mean, obviously at the minute we don't really have the Red Hearts to play around with that so much, but um, I could I could definitely be down for it if, if the Queen of Hearts decides to uh, roll in our favor and give us a good amount of a good amount of hearts. I mean, we've got tons of hearts on this floor at the minute, so... I probably should have gone to the boss first so that I could start charging larynx, but... It's cool, it's cool. So when there's this much of the floor left, I don't feel right leaving. Like, I don't mind leaving a room here or there, but when it's like... Feels like there's loads of the room left. Okay, so there's our money. Cha-ching, cha-ching. That was pretty easy. See, now this is a good reason to go for it. If we get one more penny... Get one more penny, which I think I can easily get doing this, then I can play the ferryman and still uh, buy Greedbutt, which I think is pretty darn useful. Okay, let's go for it. Let's play the ferryman. See if we can get his, his lovely, lovely reward. I'm just going to take a pause real quick here. Okay, we are good to continue. Good to go. Yeah, fragment, we're in. We'll get some good consumables out of this, even if we fail it. But, I'm hoping with Obituary, there shouldn't be as large a chance that we do fail it. I mean, this is this is getting a little, a little insane right now. It's getting a little insane with the portals. But yeah, Obituary makes it so that we can, like, chain kills together pretty easily. And I think, I think the damage it gives us scales off the damage we have. So the more damage we get, the better that's going to be. Yeah, this room was pretty easy, luckily. Only a half red heart. I don't know what I'm hoping for, to be honest. But it's not that. I see. Okay. Let's take him out first. Ooh, we're getting we're getting a bunch of random stonies in these rooms, like the little the little friends here, which I definitely don't mind. From that uh Limestone carving, whatever that item was called. I suppose I could always use larynx as well if things get really fishy. If things are looking like in a bad way. I think we're good here. Yeah, nice and easy. Some of them are getting stuck in the side pits though. Right, last room here. Death card I'm going to take and try out. <laughs> well... You literally gave me an absolute freebie there. So we got our item. We'll see what it ends up giving us. Oh, really? Really? Book of the Dead. Not a bad item, but I think Larynx is far, far better. Not ideal. Not ideal, I tell you. But we still gained a good amount out of that. I don't think it was a waste of time at all. And we shall move it on. But yeah, as I was saying earlier about finding this, like, application thing that just, like, does my notes for me. Just finding, like, efficiencies in your job like that are so good. Especially when you can, like, sort of basically make it seem to your employer that you're doing a lot of the work. Um, like, I, I, I haven't really, like, masked it that much. Like, they know it's an AI application. Like, it has to join the call, so it's not crazy. But, like, I think the fact that I sort it out of my own initiative and kind of in that way... Like, had my boss be a bit, a bit more, like, impressed with it, I, so to say. Look down, really. Um, we do have a glass spin down here, uh, which I think I'm far more likely to take. In fact, I'm just going to pop it here and grab the crucifix. Crucifix is a pretty good item. Um, I was planning on maybe just carrying it for a while and seeing if we can get anything sort of more fitting with what we needed. But I thought, you know what, crucifix, it is a tier effect, which means that our uh, crutch will take effect on shots that are crucifix shots, I believe, at least. Um, I don't remember exactly how it works, uh, but that should work. Um, and also, I do still want to carry my Queen of Hearts here for an opportunity where it becomes viable. I need to remember to go and pick up a... Oh, why'd I do that? I wasted that a little bit. Uh, I need to remember to go and pick up Greed's butt from the shop. I almost forgot there. Good, good, good. 
Roll of pennies and an angel deal, baby. An angel deal. Well, there's quite a lot of money. And I'm not not a big fan of you, Trinket. Thank you. Conqueror, baby. Blocks projectiles with a 10% chance to spawn five beams of light. I'll also bomb this guy as well. Dude, my little rock baby things are doing such good damage right now. I like it. Right, Greed's Butt, I am coming back for you. By the way, if you haven't seen Greed's Butt before as an item, it's it's basically better, um, what the hell's its name? Dumpy, it's basically better Dumpy. Um, it, the, the the only downside is that once it's been used, it has to you have to pick up five coins to recharge it, so it's got a longer recharge, but it blocks any and all damage. And there you can see what this is doing. It gives us homing and stats when we're in that. So we stand in this and it'll give us the homing and everything, which is really, really nice. I like that quite a bit. And it's proccing on most enemies right now. Ooh, some extra damage. Don't mind if I do. And we're straight into the shop. Ah, really? Do you know what? I'm going to pop that on you. You've annoyed me. Get larynxed. You've perturbed me. Get larynxed. Larynx is one of those items that I feel like, when you're talking about good active items, no one remembers it, but it is pretty goddamn top tier. Like, it's, it's, it's goddamn good. It can wipe rooms very, very easily. Um, and it can insta-kill a lot of bosses. Thank you. I will take some more money here, thank you. Yeah, I'll pop this other one as well, because we're getting these uh, these little rock fellas. Destroying rocks is a little more valuable than otherwise. We're up to 9.15 on our damage, which is pretty good. Yeah, we get that herming boost off of these guys. And then it's like it just chain reacts so well. Obituary plus this is actually a really good combo. We get some really good chain reactions going. Don't mess with my conquer baby. He will light beam you. Also fire it. Very nice. Um, enemies now target dropped bombs. I've never really actually utilized this to the fullest effect, but I'm guessing it basically means when I drop a bomb, it acts as a punching bag, and enemies will, will, will like, move towards it and shoot at it, which, moving towards it seems pretty interesting. So if I put that there, yeah, okay, that's actually really, really good as, a, as an offensive, uh, offensive bomb setup. I might have to do a run with that at some point, because that'd be pretty fun. Also, another question, just any other items from other mods you guys want me to check out in a video, please let me know, because basically, as you guys know with the videos that I'm doing now, I tend to just do an Eden run and, like, restart a few times till I get an item that I think is interesting to showcase and then showcase it, um, which is my, my sort of preferred way of finding out new items to... to do videos on, but if there's like some specifics, oh where the hell did that come from? If there's some specifics that you guys have in terms of items you want to showcase, I'd love to hear it because like doing it through the Eden method while fun isn't the most ideal because obviously you then get the random stats and you can't play as other characters. Um, and I know that like I don't have a super high variety of what characters I play on the channel. I definitely like to play more tainted characters uh, on occasion. I do enjoy them. I could go for the full run reroll, but this is an obituary run and I will stick with my guns. Yeah, look at this. Oh, man. And I can move over to another one to refresh the duration. I halved. I ranged down. I ranged down again. Okay, luckily we have very good range, otherwise that would be a little bit sad. Ooh. Well, I think we know what we're going to do with worship. Ah ha 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 ha. Okay, this is good. Right. Worship, please work. This can spawn an item or damage us. So we're going to obviously go secret room here and uh, see if we can get it to spawn an item. Do you know what? I'm going to quickly grab that as well. And if it can, then we've got a d6 to re-roll it if need be. 
Ah, you bugger. How dare you? At least it didn't damage us two hearts because we have a burn heart. That stops it from doing too much damage for us. But having this D6 here, I probably want to carry it over to an angel deal. So this might be time to say goodbye to the queen of hearts. I should at least pop it first. I think I'd rather have a D6. Oh, of course it pops a ton of hearts. I wanted to make it work. And especially with a burn heart, it's more viable. But glass D6, re-rolling angel deals and key pieces... You can't deny the beautifulness that is that situation right there. Ah, uh, we got hit recently from the uh, card, so our base damage has gone down by quite a bit. Um, on use upgrades, all chests in the room into a better counterpart. If there's no nothing to upgrade, spawns a red chest. Hmm, it's kind of an interesting idea. Could build a run around that. That would be kind of fun. I know that there's a item from the God Mode mod that makes uh, all chests into eternal chests. Or like most chests into eternal chests. So that plus that, upgrading an eternal chest into the, uh, gold, the, the mega golden chest could be an interesting strategy. Um, excuse fucking me. That was rude. Don't know why Larynx dealt no damage there, but I think I just used it too early. I love this new version of uh, these fellas. They're so interesting. And we get ourselves a good old star treat. Nothing crazy. Just a star treat. Right. To the next floor, baby. To the next floor. By the way, I've had a, I, I, like, obviously I uploaded my video, Reese, um, like a few days ago, whenever it was, on my um, lossless scaling lag reduction thing. I, I actually got quite a lot of backlash from various people basically saying that I've lied and that's not what lossless scaling does. But I think for those people and for those that, that are still umming and whether to get it or don't understand how it works, I wasn't trying to say that it completely removes any lag. Oh my god. It just makes the lag way, 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 way more tolerable. It, it makes it makes playing with lag actually possible. Because instead of the game running like a slideshow and taking literal minutes to finish a single room when it's lagging, the game will just play in like a slightly slow-mo state and you can visually see what's happening and the room will be over four times as fast. Like, that's... I feel like that's a pretty strong benefit. And obviously I have a strong PC, so I'm getting the, the, the best of the best out of it. Dude, we got worship again? Let's try and make that work. Let's try and make that work. How are you not dead yet? God damn. That bar got a lot of health. Right. We can find secret room somewhere. Look at that. They're both chasing it. That's so good. Um, we got Birthright and Magic Skin. Birthright we'll take. And then Death's Touch. Yes, please. Magic Skin's one of those items that I haven't played around with too much in a while. But I think with Worship plus Magic Skin plus a Secret Room, the potential is there. For some, for some potential craziness. So. Let's go find Secret Room now. See if I can suss it out. I think I know where it is, but I need to check first. I, I also don't know why Magic Skin's in the shop. That's something that I'm unsure about. I think it's here. Yeah, there you go. So, ooh. Golden Penny, lovely. Right. Let's go grab Worship first and pop that. Hoping... Hoping and praying that it gives us it this time. Otherwise, we're going to lose a lot of damage. Dude! How dare you? How dare you? So, do I... The question is, do I still magic skin? It would... It would probably not be wise. Let's be honest. It would probably not be wise. Because we're just going to get a lot more magic skins. Um... Hmm... 
Yeah, let's 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 do it. Let's do it. I'm, I'm gonna give up larynx for magic skin with d6 and try and get something out of that. I think it's worthwhile. So let's see what our first item ends up being. Unfortunately, an active item. Not what we're looking for. So we'll leave that there for now. We'll try and get another charge before we... Um, before we utilize the glass d6. Because we might want to reroll multiple items here. Strength card, no thank you. Okay. Hoping we can get another charge. If not, I'm hoping there's a battery in the shop. I never ever look if there's going to be a battery in the shop. It's something I should focus on way more. And I just don't. I don't. I can't explain why. Um, There isn't. But. But, 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 but. Yeah, okay. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Literally exactly what I was hoping for. I'll check this as well. Queen of Diamonds? What does that do? Converts all rocks, poops in the room into pennies. Okay, let's grab that for now then. And we'll see if we can make that work somewhere or another. In fact, let's just do it in this room here. I'd say that was pretty worthwhile. And then look at the size of that. Slightly annoying room here, but... Nothing to worry about. And we finally get our sack room. Um, with our burn heart, we could potentially do some stuff with the sack room, I guess. It's not ideal, though. Come back here, heart. Right, we got another charge. Let's go back. And I think two items is going to be our limit this floor. So let's not worry about trying to get another charge. I guess I could also reroll Larynx here, but that's not as exciting, is it? I think we go into the secret room, pop another magic skin, try and min-max a little bit, get some shenanigans going on. You know how we do. It's pretty good, but I think I'm going to d6 both of these. Boy. Of course I'll take TM Trainer. Isaac's Tomb's pretty good too, but TM Trainer, it's batshit. It's insane. It's wild. I will take it. I'm I'm almost certain glitched items are slightly broken for me in my modded setup and they'll always give me a similar effect from what I've seen. We'll see if that ends up being the case because the last few times I've picked up a glitched item, it's been uh it's been weird to say the least. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm yourself. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, the size of those tears when Clutch goes off. It's beautiful. Oh, we got a Rainbow Heart. That is a full heal. And it does give us shielding for the rest of the room. Uh, not particularly useful in most floors, but on occasion, that'll be pretty good. We got a Soul Heart Rock there, look. Right. Let's take you on. Wow. Did get a devil deal here, surprisingly. Of course. Uh, right, we do actually have descriptions on for these items, so we'll see if this works. So we've got... He has one and a half hearts, grants dice bag. Hitting enemy has a 5% chance to fart. Um, on clearing a room, grant... Um, ah, that's terrible. Um, killing enemy has a 20% chance to spawn a card. That seems... Overall, pretty crazy. Okay, they're not broken. They're not broken. So, killing an enemy has a 20% chance to spawn a card. That seems like that could get pretty ludicrous pretty fast. Um, Grant's Wire Coat Hanger. When a red chain lock is spawned... Okay, I don't even know what our red chain lock is, so... Now, one problem is I do believe that when an enemy dies like this, it doesn't technically die as the game sees it. So that means those enemies that die in that way, I don't think they'll be able to spawn cards, which is obviously not great. Uh, so we are going to lose out on some cards because of that, because of the method of which they're dying. Also got to remember, if I use uh, magic skin again, I'll lose two soul hearts here, so I don't want to do that. 
We got a glitch card, which is fitting. Just gave us some stuff. Yeah, it does seem that enemies that die in that way cannot drop cards. Unless I'm just getting unlucky, but seems to be the case. Unfortunately, at the minute, pretty much every enemy is dying that way, despite our luck being low. Good thing is the enemies that spawn other enemies... Uh, that die that way, don't spawn other enemies, which is kind of nice. we got two tinted rock uh, spiders now that haven't perished yet, so they're still pootering around and not giving us uh, not giving us the soul hearts we desperately require. Ah, those would have been perfect enemies, but it does it does seem, unfortunately, this item has, uh, has massively screwed us out of an insane amount of cards. We got a worship card in there, though, but... Do I want to gamble on a worship card again? So far, they've been pretty bad at letting me down. But, but, you know, you know, Papa likes to gamble. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway, it's glitched. Oh, <laughs> um, upon taking damage, grants clear case for the room, then spawns a giga rocket. That sounds hilarious. Um... Plus two coins, give Heart of China. On collecting a pickup, grants Kane to other eye for the room, then deals damage around us, then converts all grid objects into the boomerang rib tier, then farts. Sounds intriguing. Sounds intriguing. TM Trainer runs, you've just got to accept the chaos. you just got to live with the consequences and hope for the best. Oh, one of our spiders finally croaked. We like to see it almost, almost walking to that spike rock there. As a card. Dude, we just keep getting empresses. Where's the cool cards, man? Why can't I be like the cool kids? Boo. That that book got instantly refilled. Yeah, dude, the amount of uh the amount of like whatever this item is. The, the glowing enemies when they die, what we're getting is a lot. Dude, I think we can only get the Empress. Okay, no, we can't. I just... <laughs> we did get that Worship card, I suppose, but we're getting a lot of Empresses. I'm hoping I'm on the way to the boss here. That is a Yera. But I don't know how best to utilize that Yera right now. I don't think we really have any good way of utilizing it. Ah, ah, ah. That was very close. Oh my god. My conquer baby. Grants plastic knife, fire rate, damage upon taking damage, far and then deal damage. Then use Max's paw. I don't know what Max's paw does, but I like stats. I think Max's paw does something with red hearts, so we should be safe. We should be safe. It'll, I think it's like red hearts into fire rate or something like that. I don't fully remember. So far, we haven't got anything absolutely wild going on. As I said, if, if we were killing enemies normally without this item, we'd have an insane amount of cards, so that would be pretty crazy, but unfortunately, that's... Not the case for us. We have an item that prevents that from happening. It's just crazy. Like, it, it's a good item, mind you. It's a good item, but... I would have thought it'd be like a 1 in 5 chance for that to proc. Not basically every kill. Like, it's it's a pretty much guarantee we can rely on. By the way, also, secret room right here. Boom, bow. Ooh, Hello. Grants modeling clear. Um, killing enemies has a 20% chance to grant white knight for the room. Upon taking damage, yeah, why not? Three of hearts. All the killing an enemy effects, as I've said previously, aren't really going to work for the most part, but we can pray. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Greed's butt spawned a curse penny, which in turn was an all stats up. That's winning at life right there. You don't herm on me, I herm on you. 
Right, I think that way that we were heading is the correct way for the boss. That noise it makes when it, when we kill an enemy with this effect is pretty cool too. I don't, I don't really know how to describe that noise. Sound effects and like foley art is something that's really interesting to me. I, I always find the process of like finding the right sound effects. I feel like sound plays so much bigger of a role in a game than than you are, than most people think. Uh, like for example, in the Binding of Binding of Isaac, in Enter the Gungeon modding. One pet peeve I always had in the early days of modding is that a lot of modders, instead of, like, having custom sounds for their guns or, like, whatever, they just have, like, basic sounds for their guns that wouldn't really fit right. Nowadays, the modders tend to either use custom sounds or, um take sounds from other existing guns that fit it well, and it makes so much difference. Oh, dude. <laughs> Taking damage fires a Giga Rocket. I completely forgot about that. That's hilarious. Um, when a battery is spawned, deal damage. Um, again, we'll just take it and see what happens. Cool. Don't know if I'm going to live. I, 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 I took two hits pretty swiftly there. So, living... Oh, that's, that's nice. Living isn't a guarantee right now. Living is by no means a guarantee, but I will try my darndest. Right, get, get some of those going in there. Really, that bomb didn't... At, at least these bombs are distracting enemies. I like that. Ho, 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 shit. You're getting wrecked by your own ghosty. Stop spawning enemies, you fool. I can use them to gain unlimited power. Have you not realized that yet? At least when the uh, the little ghosty circles fade away, it gives us our obituary damage. Ugh, this is going to be gross. Oh, no, it's not because them guys didn't die the way they should have done, so they didn't do that on death effect. I like it. My god, this is intense. We're doing better than I would have thought somehow. How are you not dead? There you go. <gasps> we got a card. It's a miracle. Unfortunately, it's a terrible card. Secret room. Really got into a rhythm of finding secret rooms at the minute, haven't I? It's a good few friends. Oh, no item. How dare you. We also haven't had really enough health to... Okay, I was going to blow up those, those blue fires, but they're gone now. Haven't really had enough health to... Oh, beautiful, beautiful. This is a lot of cards, baby. This is a lot of cards. That one's decent. I'll take that. Anything, anything here? Spectral piercing tier, that's not really that good for us. Flaming tier that inflicts burn. Eh, none of those are really that much better than what we've got going on right now, are they? Dude, I like all these rock friends that we've got going on right now. Look at this. Just turning everything into these little thingies here. Ooh, Emperor, I will use that on the next floor, I, I do think. I'm pretty close to the boss here, so I think it's a bit of a waste. Oh my god, Giga Rocket! I always forget about you. Giga Rocket, you are beautiful. So this is where we get cards. This is what it would be like in Mersh rooms. If it weren't for uh, this item. We got ourselves a Mark of Cain here. Moon card. Planetarium disc. That has crashed my game? No, it hasn't. Okay, cool. Randomizes your items. Ooh, that sounds saucy. We've got a delirious cell here. I don't even know where I'd use this, to be honest. 
Nowhere by the looks of it. <laughs> really? Solar Cane didn't do anything in that room? Does it normally highlight the red doors? Maybe it does, I'm just stupid. I thought it didn't. No, I, th I think maybe Solar Cane does highlight the red door, so I just used it in a position there. I'm actually going the right way now, good. I just had to check. I was cocking this up royally so far. Right, boss time. Don't think we'll have too hard of a time with a boss. Unfortunately, he doesn't spawn a lot, but he can. He can spawn his little fellas on occasions. So I'm hoping he does. I have Mars at the minute. There you go. Because now we've got this. Oh, skip card? Hell yeah. Boom. Oh, I didn't skip him. Excuse me. I thought it did. That was the whole point. We've got a few Kane's eyes here doing doing some business for us. The reworked Kane's eyes. Oh, come on, dude. You already know you're dead. Give it up. There you go. Right, can we make this last little bit of health? Can we eke out a victory from it? We shall see. Aha! I, I once again forgot these would be, these would be um, TM trained items. Um, killing him is 20% chance to do... Yeah, fuck it. Um... Yeah, it's an active item. Yeah, it's a better active item than what we've got, though. Whoa, that's a lot of health. That's a lot of health, baby. Um, I didn't even get to see what that last item was. I just accidentally walked into it. So who knows what might happen now? Dude, we're getting so many worships right now. Pop it. Grant's Womb Tracker. It's too much reading. Get me to the boss. Give me that 30 plus range. Oh, get nuked, fella. Get nuked. Apparently we got rubber cement. I don't mind that at all. Pop the devil card. Why not? This got wacky towards the end. TM Trainer. Do be doing its thing. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.